Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, show dedicated to learning some filmmaking and learning you good. And today we're going totally ape thanks to these requests. A whole bunch of you got in my head about a gorilla grud voice. So that's what we're doing today. And just because I don't have any ape jokes, I'm going to roll this Simpsons Donkey Kong clip. Sorry, Donkey Kong. You're just not a draw anymore. <laughs> Hey, he still got it. He sure does. Now, in order to complete this effect, you gotta dig deep in your gut and embrace your inner Dr. Claw. Or the awful CGI devil from the Spawn movie, or Soundwave from those crappy Transformer films, and give your best guttural impression of Grodd. Just like me. Foolish human. I. Am. Grodd. Haunting. What do you think, Lawrence? My god. Well, he approves. So let's open Adobe Audition and get to work. Okay guys, here we are back in Adobe Audition, again. So let's have a listen to my grot impression before we get started. Foolish human, I am grot. It's not bad, but I know it's not a 100% match, because I'm not the voice actor, so all I can do is my best. So our first step, and a shock I know, we're gonna lower the pitch. So let's head over to the effects rack, head to time and pitch, and select pitch shifter. Now, if you are on CS6, you aren't going to find the pitch shifter here. You'll have to head up to effects, time and pitch, and select stretch and pitch, and have a play in there. But for us using CC, let's jump on in. First thing I'm gonna do is drop the semitones to minus three. And if we have a listen. Foolish human, I am Grod. It sounds a little too deep. So what I'll do is knock the sense up to 75. We'll then set the precision to high and check Choose Appropriate Settings. Now let's have a listen. Foolish human, I am Grod. Sounds much more natural now. Next step, let's boost that bass. And to do that, we're gonna head to the effects rack and just like last week, we'll head to Filter and EQ and select FFT Filter. From there, we're gonna head up to the drop down menu, select Default, which will then give us a flat straight line and then we're just gonna modify the line like so. There we go. We've now thickened our bass vocal. So let's hit apply on those effects over here on the effects rack. Boop. And now it's time to start farting around in a multi-track session. Let's hit up, create a new multi-track and call it Gorilla. Okay. And we'll now drop two iterations of our newly pitched down grod voice into tracks one and two. Now our next step is working solely with track two, as this is where we're gonna create that echoey part of grod's telepathic talking. So let's head over to the effects rack Head to Special and hit Guitar Suite. Let's then set it to Default, there we go. And from there, we're gonna uncheck Bypass on the Compressor and the Amplifier. Let's then set the Compressor to 51. Head over to the drop down menu on Amplifier and find Deep 4x12. We'll then set that to 51 and let's have a listen. Foolish human, I am Grod. As you can hear, it adds a little distortion, nothing big, but sometimes a subtle effect is good. Next step, time to add a little reverby goodness. So get your butt back to that effects rack, head to reverb and select reverb. From the drop down menu, we'll simply grab the preset ethereal. Time to tweak. Let's set the decay time to 2000 and then the diffusion to 4000. Now, here's our little trick. Firstly, let's bump the track's volume down to minus 18. And then we're just gonna move it slightly to the right. And there we go. Let's have a listen to that now. Foolish human, I am Grodd. So as you can hear, we now have that kind of ghostly echo that Grodd has in his voice when he's in someone's head. Nice, eh? Now I can't leave you without sharing one last cherry on top, so let's mix this track down by grabbing the cursor icon, highlighting just past our tracks here to catch all that reverb, and then we'll right click, head down to mix down track, and grab time selection. Now that we have our mix down, all we're going to do is add an extra layer of reverb for those who feel like my effect is a little too subtle. So what we're going to do is head over to the effects rack, head to reverb, full reverb, and from the drop down menu, I'm going to select small room. Now, let's have a listen to that. Foolish human, I am Grod. So there you have another variant to the Grod voice. If you feel like it needs a little more oomph, by all means, have a play with all of these reverb effects and find the one you enjoy. Add up all those steps and your voice goes from this. Foolish human, I am Grod. Out to this. Foolish human, 
I am Grodd. Or maybe this. Foolish human, I am Grodd. So guys, that's my take on a Gorilla Grodd voice effect from The Flash. As you see, the ability for this effect to work well really boils down to how well you can do that impression. Kind of a running theme with these audio effects this year, as the effects we're adding merely enhance what you've already done. But that is my time once more, gang. If you enjoyed the video, please like and share it. If you're new here, be sure to telepathically click that subscribe button. Or actually click it. I have my Patreon info down here. And we've also got some other sweet voice effects over here, as well as my social media above my head. And until next time, my learning-ers, keep learning!